Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. Today, my topic is machine vision based uh, prediction of serum VTV level in Japanese black cattle by pupillary light reflex analysis. And uh, first, uh, this is the uh, outline of my today's presentation. First, the background. In background, I will introduce that uh, uh, vitamin A level will affect uh, beef quality. And uh, the objective, we want to find an easy way to monitor vitamin A level of cattle. And the device, we are using two CCD camera. And the uh, method, uh, we want to investigate the effect of different uh, vitamin A level on pupillary light reflex in Japanese black cattle. First, uh, background. And uh, please look at this graph. This graph shows the uh, main cattle in, Jap in Japan. Uh, the cattle was, the beef was divided into five grades. And uh, all the right side is the uh, beef marbling standard, it has 12 standard. And uh, all these standard contribute to the beef, grade, beef grading. And uh, we are doing experiment in Tajimagyu, which is the same kind with Kobe beef. And the Kobe beef is uh, famous for its good taste and uh, high price. And uh, this figure shows uh, this figure shows the uh, twelve beef marbling standard, and uh, the down right is the uh, highest standard twelve. And uh, this is determined by the intramuscle fat. And uh, to keep the cattle and the low li low vitamin A level during stage of fattening can produce beef with higher marbling score. And uh, this is proved by many research. And uh, in 1998, Aukasan uh, find uh, the mean marbling score of low vitamin A group was significantly higher than that of group supp supplemented with higher vitamin A. And uh, in 1999, also, Another research proved the same thing, and uh, also in 2007. And uh, so to get high quality beef, it is important uh, to control the vitamin A or cattle in lower, lower level. However, uh, if that is uh, too low, it will introduce some disease to the cattle, like night blindness, diarrhea, and uh, xerosamia, and uh, convulsive seizures. The traditional way of monitoring vitamin A level is by blood assay, which has um, disadvantages, which is time consuming, expensive, and uh, stressful to cattle. So to publish the research in Japan shows some potential to predict uh, vitamin A level by analysis of pupillary reflex. The left side, the left side is conducted by Matsuda-san, uh, which showed uh, the lower vitamin, lower vitamin A level cattle uh, need a long time to react to the light. And uh, the right side also showed the same result. Uh, lower vitamin A levels cattle need a long time to contract. <coughs> so there is a hypothesis that uh, vitamin A deficiency would introduce defect in optic nerve of cattle. When vitamin A becomes lower, the cattle's eye become less sensitive to light. So our objective is to uh, predict uh, the vitamin A level 
in Japanese black cattle by pupillate reflex analysis. This graph, the right graph shows the device we are using, and uh, the left side the movie showed uh, the pupil shrink in one second. This is the device now we are using. The right side is the, the right side is the two CCD camera, and uh, it can get uh, two kind of images, both color image and uh, near infrared images. And at the same time, and uh, in the middle of the device, there are two kind of light source. One is ring shaped uh, near inf near infrared light and uh, the other is uh, white LED light. Mm. The left side is a tube to reduce the environment uh, noise. And this side is cattle's eye. This is a real image of our device. <coughs> Material we are using is uh, 42 Japanese black cattle which belong to Tajimagyu and uh, the cattle's age and the start of this experiment is nine to 10 months old. And uh, we conducted this experiment during last uh, December and uh, by now. The place is at Hyogo Prefecture, Hokubu Agricultural Institute in Wadayama. And uh, this graph shows uh, the period we conduct conducted this experiment of the cattle's age from nine months to 22 months old. The method is first we fix the cattle's position and uh, then use a black clothes cover the cattle's eyes and then we wait for two minutes to wait the cattle's pupil dilated and then put the camera in front of the cattle's eye and then adjust the, the camera's position by checking the near infrared image and, uh, and last uh, turn on the white LED light and uh, take PLR images. This slide shows the uh, image precising. Uh, we first uh, the we, we, we find that in the hue value that the pupil area is easily to separate from the image. So we first uh, convert the uh, color image into HSI space, hue, saturation, and intensity, and then binarization in hue value. And then we do noise reduction and uh, Feel the LED ring, and last count the number of the pupil area. Uh, the re this is the result. We try to analyze the relationship between the serum vitamin A level and pupil reflex factors. We included the uh, five factors pupil area, normalized uh, pupil area, start of shrinking time, slope of pupil contraction regression line, and uh, ratio of pupil maximum length and uh, breadth. The slope of pupil contraction re refraction line uh, correspond corresponding to the contraction speed, and uh, the ratio of pupil maximum length and breadth corresponding to the initial shape of the pupil. Uh, the left side is a pupil area of one cattle in different months, which is affected by, however, the initial area size is affected by the relative position of the camera and the cattle's eye, and has variation in different uh, experiments. So to evaluate the pupil light reflex, we normalize the pupil area by dividing the 
initial pupil area. This graph shows uh, normalized uh, pupil area. And uh, we define the start of shrinking time uh, is the time when the normalized pupil area decreased to 0 0.98. Mm. Uh, this is the result of start of shrinking time. And uh, by we conducted this experiment from 2010. So last year, uh, not previous researcher in our laboratory found a positive, a slightly positive correlation between start of shrinking time and vitamin E level. The left graph shows that the x-axis is the vitamin A level, and the y-axis is the start shrinking time. However, uh, this year, we try to analysis in the same way, but uh, there is not obvious relation. We just uh, got a scattered point, point in this graph. And uh, then uh, this this slide shows the the slope or slope of pupil contraction regression line of one cattle in different months. We use this slope to represent the speed of pupil contraction. Mm. So the right side is the relation between the slope of pupil contraction regression line and the serometry level. And uh, it showed a, a little slightly negative correlation. Uh, however, I divided uh, the sample of cattle into by their age. So one group of cattle showed uh, a much better result. It showed that uh, the negative correlation between contraction speed and vitamin A. Uh, however, by now, our research, I didn't uh, consider the initial shape of the pupil area. But I think that uh, the ratio of maximum length and the brightness of pupil before shrinking maybe have some effect on the iris, spring muscle, contraction ability, and it should be considered. Mm. This graph, the yellow color is uh, pupil area, and the green line is the uh, maximum length, and the black line is the uh, brightest. So discussion, a positive correlation between start of shrinking time and the vitamin E level was not uh, confirmed by this year. And uh, a negative correlation between slope between slope of contraction regression line was shown. The result is different from other result, other researchers' result, and my hypothesis. Uh, I think this uh, is a new result I have to consider. Uh, future work. Uh, now I just uh, now I just uh, consider each factor directly with uh, vitamin E level, but I think the, these three factors has correlation with each other. So in the future, I want to use multiple linear regression line to combine 
these three factors. And uh, also during Uh, during experiment, I, I didn't consider about temperature and the birthplace and the gender of the cattle, which may be also have influence on the experiment. Thank you. Marvin standard. Marvin standard is one four. Uh, ten, one two three. Ten. Oh. Very small and uh, it's not easy to see. Oh. Yeah. All the same. Yeah. Just uh, some some thing. Some maybe we have uh, some another way. Number 12 is the best. So what you should do is switch the, uh, the, the uh, your scale. Because from my understanding, the very last one is the best one, right? The, the lower uh, uh, right, uh, right hand side, the very bottom one. So if I read it, that's with rank number one, A1. So what you should do is change the, 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 uh, the numbering. The first one is one, and then we uh, <laughs> And what, what is one to twelve? Let me have a check. <laughs> What's number one, number twelve on the on your right in the uh, yeah. no the yeah. last last column. Yeah, you are doing the this is grade one or marbling standard one. Then this is uh, marbling standard zero. Oh, okay. This is the marble for one to twelve. Oh. Down bottom to up. This is uh, up to bottom. Oh. <laughs> Some, something. Then this is uh, this grade? Grade one, two, three, four, five? Yes. Something like that. Maybe. When you screw it, right? Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, confused. Oh. We confused. Yes, yes. Hey, Mr. Han, the, um, when is the, the meeting? Next week? Okay. Mm. I, I, I'm trying to do it very, very careful of uh, uh, reading your slide. The, it appeared to me your presentation has two stages. The first stage is before from slide one to slide 12. You're doing just fine. But after slide 12, you lost your energy. You begin reading your slide. You're very uncertain. You're very slow. So what you need to do is you really have to practice so your presentation should be very consistent from slide one <coughs> to your last slide. Because your first nine minutes, you're doing okay. I, I, I look at after nine minutes, you can <coughs> completely drop off. So you have to be really, really trying to practice and consistent. 
because at the end, you have, you have no confidence on your presentation at the end. You're just leaving your slide at the end. So you really, really have to practice. Now, just a couple of things. This is an important meeting for you. Can you go to slide number nine? So instead of saying material, you, just, you should say test animal. Okay? That's not material. So just a little thing to improve it. So test animal. Uh, number slide number 10. Uh, what you need to do is that uh, trying to uh, do your transition so the error won't be there. Okay? Your, 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 the, the error. Oh. Okay. Now, uh, one thing that I think for you to consider, now your title is to be prediction. I think I, I would use the word estimation or something better because one thing is that if you look at this line number 14, at the end you can you can see the reference you have estimation of serum vitamin A level. I think estimation is a much better technical term instead of prediction. Prediction is no measurement. Estimation, you make a one measurement to predict the value of another one. It's an estimation. Prediction is no test. Okay. Okay. Another thing is that your conclusion, I would say, very weak. That's to you, you should make your conclusion very strong. Your conclusion is that my results are really not, not very conclusive. And I don't really, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the conclusion really not helping you to strengthen your research. So you should have to rework your, uh, your uh, conclusion to get much stronger technically. Okay? So for example, the result is different from, one re from other researchers uh, than my hypothesis say exactly what they mean. Yes, I can see the effect. No, I don't see the effect. Okay? Make, it, make the conclusion that's strong. You, know, you need to practice. You, know, okay? you don't Th find this very nice stuff. Thank you, Sensei. Any other questions? Um, yeah, just a few technical things. Um, <coughs> you can make your voice louder.
it's very and it's very easy for us to spot when you are we lost when you lost confidence <coughs> because your voice is getting very soft when you lost confidence at the latest slide so make sure you, you show people you are highly confident okay look mm -hmm. at the people don't be afraid practice and also you when, when you were talking to me about this a couple of days ago you said that <coughs> you you're going to take the data and uh, look at a subsample of the data because mm. you have you have uh, cattle of various ages, so you're going to try to reduce the sample and look at the subsample to see if you can get a nice nicer correlation. I think you can include that here. Uh. So I think it might uh, get people thinking about it more and keep your keep the interest up. So you need to double check that someone checked your grammar. There's many grammar mistakes. <coughs> okay. uh, many grammar mistakes. And this is the whole first slide that you need to look at. Thank you, Vincent. Okay, thank you very much.